In this video, we are going to show you the original version of the Finkelstein test for the calvus tendonitis of the thumb. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The calvus tendonitis, also known as Gamer's thumb or Blackberry thumb, is the inflammation of the synovial sheath that surrounds the tendon of the extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus. The Finkelstein test is the hallmark test to diagnose this pathology, although no values and validity are known. So the clinical value of this test is questionable. To perform the test, Dawson et al. from the year 2010 recommend a three-stage process which is well tolerated and able to diagnose the calvus tendinitis accurately. To perform the test, have your patient's affected extremity extended so that the wrist remains at the edge of the treatment table. The arm is positioned with the ulnar aspect of the forearm on the table and the ulnar aspect of the hand hanging off of the edge. The forearm is maintained in neutral. In the first step, the patient's pain is assessed with gravity-assisted, gentle active ulnar deviation at the wrist. This version is suitable for patients who present in the acute phase. This test is positive if the patient reports pain aggravation at the tip of the steloid process. If version 1 does not elicit pain, gently apply an ulnar deviation force to the hand, which results in increased passive stretch across the first dorsal compartment. Again, this test is positive if the patient reports aggravated pain over the styloid process. If the second step is still not provoking, we will perform the original version described by Finkelstein et al., which is suitable for patients in the chronic stage that are unlikely to experience substantial pain in the first two steps. In this third step, grasp the thumb and then passively flex it into the palm. A positive test result is recorded if the patient experiences increased pain over the tip of the styloid process. Performing the test in this staged manner is hypothesized to create less false positive results as it is less provocative than the Eichhoff's test that is often confused with the Finkelstein test in the literature. Click on the video right next to me to watch this test. Okay, that was our video on the original Finkelstein test for Decavas disease. We hope this video was helpful to you and you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot for watching and feel free to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Patreon or our website physiotutors.com. This was Kai from Physiotutors, I'll see you in the next video, bye.